Welcome to the 30th Annual Youth Volunteer Awards. Um, we had a beautiful magicians and dancers from the Spanish community of Wallingford. Um, they've been gracious enough to provide pre-ceremony entertainment, so we're thankful for that. My name is Gary Redmond. I'm the program coordinator at Youth and Social Services here in Wallingford, and uh, tonight we recognize and celebrate uh, really the extraordinary efforts of our children, our people, relatives, and uh, doing some great work. Uh, we know that in high school, kids are required to have 30 hours uh, of volunteer time to graduate. The hours they presented for this program go well beyond that. So um, congratulations to them for that. And we certainly appreciate um, definitely their efforts in giving back to the town of Wallingford and its people. So give them a hand for that. So with that said, I want to invite up Mr. Joe Dahl, Mr. Alan Kurtz, Mr. Frank Ferrari, and the Boy Scouts to start our program. We have three scouts from Troop 47 who is going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Would everybody please rise, please? Gary lets us go first, which is very stressful, but that's okay. Um, our scouts were Mikey Burgoyne, Noah Berg, and Jack Tolman. Thank you very much. I want to say a little bit about the Elks Association before we give away our scholarships. Um, the Elks Association has been around since 18-something. I don't really remember, but in Wallingford, we've been here since 1919, and we've given back three six over $6.3 million have been donated back to the community through Elks National Foundation and our own Elks Club. We currently have 1,300 members, and we're all volunteers. We're all about the community. We're all about giving back to the community. The scholarships that we're giving out tonight are from the Elks 1365 members going to these recipients. The Elks National Scholarship Foundation gives away two and a half million dollars annually nationwide, and that's every year. They give away some big scholarships. Um, we're, we're a totally volunteer organization. This award night is for all of you volunteering to give back to the community, so I'm looking at a room full of elk someday. Like I said, we have 1,300. Mr. Redmond's also an elk. Where did he go? There he is. Um, and we're proud to be here and, and able to do this. So having said that, we're going to start with our scholarships. The first recipient is going to be Olivia Signore. If she could come up, please. Hello there. We did some detective work on her, <clears throat> actually reading her bio. You'll have to fight through my pollen. <clears throat> Last couple of days, it's flying all over the place. Anyway, uh, Olivia was an officer in several different organizations at school. She was uh, also a member of the National Honor Society, member of the Italian Honor Society, a member of the Math Honor Society, and uh, many advanced placement courses. <clears throat> GPA, 
well over four, and probably the proudest person in the, world, in the room besides her is Grandma Carol, Carol up there, right? Congratulations. <laughs> Our next recipient is Logan Hall. He's a senior at Sheehan. But Alan will tell you more. Congratulations. <clears throat> Logan wasn't the only one from the Hall family. But uh, anyway, he was involved in scouting and not too many kids do this. A lot of kids, in fact, in fact, one of my own was a uh, Cub Scout for about a week. That's, that's as far as it went. But uh, Logan was involved with scouting from grade one all the way through a senior in high school. Um, he, as well as many other kids here, has well over 100 community service hours just for scouting, uh, excluding uh, the normal community service that he's done with the school. <clears throat> He maintained a B-plus average, uh, and yet he was still working over 30 hours a week uh, for the last couple of years, and been on the honor roll for four years. And uh, he also, at home, helped supervise with his brother, who has special needs. So congratulations. <clears throat> And our next recipient is Isabella Connolly, and she is a senior at Lyman Hall. It's almost like we could put ditto marks on a lot of these. Uh, Isabella also, again, well over 100 community service hours and that was not in the Cub Scouts, by the way. Um, she also had many uh, family days and holidays at the Elks itself and volunteered to do the Veterans Breakfast. That was this past November, right? Okay. Uh, GPA over four, again, taking several uh, advanced placement courses and in top 10% of her class rank. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Our next recipient is um, John Maluski. John's not here. He is a freshman, I believe, at Stonehill College. Um, some of these awards uh, are, are granted based on the number of hours that kids have volunteered, again, above and beyond what they normally have to. Um, so the first set of awards um, range from anywhere from 10 to 50 hours of volunteerism, and they will receive a certificate um, signed by the mayor, Bill Dickinson. First award winners, Michaela, Zoe, and, uh, and I'm sorry if I messed this up, Al Gornhuro, is that correct? Next up, Avery Amodio. <laughs> Meredith Birkin. Abby Bertrand. Autumn Butler. Congratulations, girls. Good job. Job well done. Next group, Jasmine Calvillo. Z 
Ezekiel Crespo. Sebastian Crespo. Leslie Criolo. Joel Dominguez. Congratulations. Next up is Gabriella Fucci. Fernando Gonzalez Fonseca. Charlotte Hall. Arleth Hernandez. Freddy Lopez, Jr. Congratulations. All right, next group, Raul Lopez. Bridget Rivard. Jocelyn Rivard. Gabriella Ruby. And Kaylee Ruby. Congratulations. Congratulations. And thank you. Next group, Ryan Shortle. Did I get that right, Ryan? Is it Shortle, Shortell? Shortell, all right, I apologize. Does it? Okay, said it happens a lot. I don't feel bad now. <laughs> Amelia Tangretti. Danica Tangretti. And Mary Umakaril. I bet I messed that one up. Layla Zielinski. And Viviana Zelinsky. Congratulations, everyone. In your, we didn't read everybody's name because not everybody could make it, um, but I just wanted you to know, in your program, the agencies that nominated these kids are right next to their names, so you know where they're uh, uh, giving their time and efforts to. So 
Thanks for that. So our next set of awards are for kids who have gone above, um, well above any hours uh, that we expect kids to do, um, anywhere between 65 and, um, so in some cases, 150 hours, uh, which is extraordinary in my opinion. So we want to proceed with that. We, they, um, these are awards that we, um, all of the kids we type into a system into the Presidential Volunteer Award System, uh, and they um, spit out what kids get, and what they should get, and these awards come in bronze, silver, and gold. So uh, just so you understand, um, there is that level, and these, uh, they will receive not only a certificate from our town, but also a certificate from the President of the United States, and also will receive a small Oak and medal uh, to signify um, their award. First up is Connor Badan. Beaten. Next up, Julia Cabral. Lisa Dokus. Brianna Mather. Riley McMahon. Susan Metzger. Elmary Perez. Paul Umakaril. And Indira Balata. Congratulations. Next are, we have two silver awards. First one goes to Timothy Lopez. And Paige Tuhill. Congratulations, thank you. Now, for the gold awards, we have four of them. First one goes to Veronica Gonzalez Fonseca. Next up, Cole McDonald. to be undone, Mae McDonald. <laughs> and
And finally, Delia Poirier. Congratulations. Uh, regardless, I think regardless of their award or size of their award or certificate, um, all of their efforts are so much appreciated by all of us in town. And not only should the kids be proud, but parents, grandparents, relatives, teachers, town councilmen, board of education members, uh, we, uh, we congratulate all of you for a job well done. And um, with that said, the ceremony is over. Uh, again, congratulations to everybody. We wish you all well and hope to see a lot of you next year at this event. Thank you very much. Thank you.